welcome back. This is Arcade Knight, and King Robert and his band of Crusader Knights are packed and ready to start the long journey home. But first, we have a little kingly business to take care of. So guys, sit back on your comfy thrones, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage as we get ready to play 1257 AD, The Crown Crusades. My men appear rested and ready to take the long journey back. I just wanted to, to have one last look at all my brave Crusader Knights before we all head back together. Oh, they definitely look ready but, but weary, but unfortunately I believe there will be one man, one gentleman who will not take the journey back with us, and that will be Marcus Aurelius. So we're going to have to talk to him and hand out some fiefs. And, and that's the whole point of being a subscriber noble. You will actually get to hold lands. So Marcus, we're going to give out some lands to you and make sure you hold down the holy lands for us while we head back to England. So guys, I'm going to head out of here and I'm going to see you in a second. So how are we going to protect what we've captured? Well, I've been giving this a lot of thought, and it's really been torturous for King Robert to figure out exactly how to do this, especially because a, a friend of mine, Marcus Aurelius, is involved in this. But but I've, I've thought about it, and I think this is the best way to go. And here's what I'm going to do. Marcus, I, I need to talk to you, good sir. Uh, let's have a conversation. So first of all, let's see your equipment, and I'm going to give you back your Byzantine armor, there you go. Thank you for wearing the cross, good sir. I so appreciate it. But I need to ask you something. How would you be interested in holding a fief? And guys, like I said, the special honor of being a subscriber noble is that you get to hold lands. So I'm going to give you Safet. And here is a my thought. So Marcus will hold Safet. I will also give him Beirut and this village right here. So he'll have this whole front. Now Marcus, his character is very strong. High leadership, high st uh, strategic skills. I believe he can hold the home front for us. Plus he is a trusted noble. Now I'm also going to give you Sir Peter Denton. I'm going to have him hold around Safet. So uh, I have something to ask you. Well, actually... I have a new task for you. I need you to go to Safet as well. Okay. So now I have two lords in Safet. Also, Lord Frederick is there as well. And Kabukwa, I'm also going to put you in Safet. I have a new task for you. I need you to go to Safet as well. So that is technically four lords holding Safet. Now, I'm going to keep Lancia as my reserve in Tripoli. And I'm just going to go talk to him, make sure that he holds Tripoli. There he is. There he is. Thank you, good sir. So he will hold Tripoli for us, and I think we're ready to go. So let's check this out. Make sure I... I it looks like I can recruit some volunteers. Uh, but they're just horse archers. They're, they're nothing impressive. So we, we already have a little battle. Oh! You know what, Peter? I wouldn't attack the caravans. I think it's okay. And I'm waiting for Marcus Aurelius to show up, but he's getting his army, collecting his army. So I feel pretty good about that. I've got quite a few lords holding down Safet, holding down the borders. I've got Lancia holding down Tripoli. And uh, Antioch, I've given it some thought, and I think for now, when I get back, King Robert may hold Antioch. And uh, sentimental reasons. If you've watched my Imperial Rome series, you will know why. Um, but there are plenty of villages to hand out. We've got Tripoli to hand out. We've got Tarsus. We've got two more villages here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Is this another village? Six, seven, seven. Wow, there's tons. Tons of fiefs to hand out. And we can't forget to uh, hand Beirut and this village out to Marcus Aurelius. Okay, so here is the most nerve-wracking part of this whole situation. It's heading back to England and hoping you don't see the dreaded your castle's been besieged notification. But before we head on, guys, let's check out and see. You guys let me know that they were sieging it. Yep, you saw the siege notification. And uh, there it is. They are sieging. 
this castle. So hopefully they're distracted. The Mamluk Sultanates while this is going on. And we can just sneak out. So let's see if we can make our way. Oh, Safet's already been besieged. How is that possible? How many men? Oh, man, they know. They already sense I'm heading out. And look at that. They run away, leaving it undefended. Oh. King Robert, you've got to take out this last army right here before you leave. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and do this. Surrender or die. Surrender or die. Let's see. I didn't even check the composition of their army. But I think we'll be okay. Let's uh, go ahead and have all the knights hold on me. Have the hospitalers hold back. Have the lion guard follow me. Oh, there they are. There they are. We'll wait till they gather in that valley. I'll wait a little bit longer. All right, knights. Let me take these men out. Yep. I'm not going to let him lead me away. Oh, and it looks like they're gathering on that hill. All right, men. Follow on your king. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Knights charge. Knights charge. Oh, and they're... Oh, no! Looks like the king is in a bad spot. Let's see if we can re rejoin our knights. Ah, uh, looks like my line guard got caught. Well, while we're here, might as well try to kill a few archers, right? Alright, finish that off, man. Finish that off. Beautiful. Ah, it's a beautiful sight. Beautiful sight. When the knights finally crash in. Oh, I see you. Run away, peasant. Run away. It's not going to help you. This is a perfect opportunity to take a sip of my tasty beverage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you. I told you. Now you're coming to England with me. Yeah. Oh, I, I told you too. Well, you know, there, there's no better way to ensure peace in the Middle East than to bring all these these prisoners back with me. So let's see. No. No. Let my, let my companions pick up all of that. All right. So let's see the situation. Safet is still so light, waiting for Marcus to show up. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It appears all my lords have ventured off into the desert... And I don't feel safe until they, they head back to Safet. Patrolling around Safet. So I guess th they, they've decided to patrol around Safet, but they could leave it so exposed this way. Oh, unfortunate. I wonder. All right, it looks like he's heading back. Lancey is doing a good job of staying put. All right. All right, there they go. He's traveling tri to Tripoli. Frederick. I know we didn't speak before, but um, I need you to go to Safet. <sighs> Fine. Fine, you're going to do whatever you want. But you were one of the last to stay behind, so I do appreciate it. All right, guys, so let's see if we can do this. I'm concerned. Let, let's check on the progress of this siege if, if we can. Still going on, still going on. They're going to take their sweet-ass time, I'm sure. Okay, let's head to Antioch really quickly. I, I believe we've got plenty of food, and Antioch's looking good. 89 men. As far as the food situation, we're doing good. Just had to get rid of some rotten chicken. Yeah, I, f I feel really good about it. I feel really good about it. So, are we rested up and ready to go? All right. Gonna head towards Tarsus. We're getting further out. All right, guys, so I'm, I'm going to start venturing out. And as soon as we we leave the Holy Lands, leave our border, which dictates our crusade is over, I'm going to cut right back. So hopefully nothing happens in the meantime. And there it is. Oh, gosh. As long as there's not a battle. 
Lancia. Lancia. What did I tell you? Okay. Now I need you to go to... Go to Safed. I'm going to wait here. Safed is no longer under siege. Okay. Very good. Oh, man. Very nerve-wracking. Very nerve-wracking. But I'm hoping once um, Marcus is ready to go, once he builds his army up, and he actually takes Safed properly, we won't have to worry about this anymore. Alright, guys. Here we go. It looks like we're not going to cut away at all. Looks like we're going to just make our way over to Constantinople. And uh, officially end this first crowned crusade. Remember, King Robert only has the willpower for three crusades. And we're officially ending this first one. But, but we have no choice, guys. We, we have to head back to England. And we have to hand out some thieves so we can actually protect the lands we, we've captured. Um, so let, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. And, you know, what, if, what this means is that... If, if there's a siege that happens and we head back in just to break the siege, we're starting another crusade, and that would just be wasteful. So this is it. This is officially it. There it is. Crusade over. All right, guys. We're going to rest up our men over in Constantinople, go to the tavern, see if we can talk to the, the lady of the night. And I'm going to feast with the nobles, and then uh, once we get back, big, get back to London, um... Hopefully, without any, any incident, I'll cut right back. I'm going to see you guys in a second. We have finally made it to France, and we're going to set sail from Calais. But, guys, I, I want to tell you that um, it appears the Crusaders have taken this castle deep in Egypt. Can you believe that? It was actually perfect. They took it just when we left Constantinople. And um, that has really distracted the Mamluk Sultanate from heading up north and... Uh, Sieging Safed or Sieging Tripoli. So, guys, it looks like we're in really good shape. Uh, so, well, let's see. Villa oh, we're, we're now in Calais. So, uh, guys, let's head back to the United Kingdoms of Britannia. It's been so long. Oh, so good to be back on home soil. And look, <laughs> this is fantastic. My first son, the Crown Prince, comes out sells the English Channel to greet his father. How are you doing, son? How how have the kingdoms been while, I, while I've been out? Um, I would like you to follow me. Glorious indeed. So guys, we're going to head back into London. And uh, once I get there, uh, we're going to talk a little bit and start handing out some of the fiefs and uh, check the condition of our newly conquered Holy Land. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. I'm taking a look at the home front and I don't see any looted villages at all. I know there were some very early in the crusade, but since then it's it's been all quiet since since we've made our way there. It appears uh, that they have been completely distracted and spent their time trying to defend their lands instead of coming over to the United Kingdoms. Uh, but tons of lords have come to uh, greet the king. So guys, let's go inside. Uh, let's go to the castle. Ah, feels so good to be home. Feels so good to be home. And look at all these lords. I, I think all these lords want to join. Look at this. Look at this. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. There's so much sorting out to do. Because I definitely want to hand out some of these lands to um, lords that don't have any fiefs. Oh, look at you. But I need to do a little bit of research first. Are, are you one of my lords? 
Ah, ill treatment, and, and we already have a negative relationship, but you do have a high renown. Hmm. I'll accept your pledge for now. Who else? Let's make the rounds. How, how about you, good sir? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oof, you have very high renown. Um, I would be honored to accept your pledge as well. Ah, and what about you? Negative nine. We're starting off on the wrong foot, I, I'm, I'm afraid. Uh, I, I will not accept you, good sir. And, and what about you? Oh, <laughs> I think I defeated you once once before. Mm. I, I'm afraid no. I'm, I'm afraid no. And how about you? Okay, not so bad. You're 16, aren't you? 16. Wow, you've had a lot of stress in your life. Um, I don't think you can handle the stress of stresses of this kingdom. I'm not going to accept you either. Aha! Lord Conrad. Let's hope we have good relations. Only negative three. 500. You're 25. I, I may send you to the Holy Lands. Because uh, you could go on a mission, good sir. And convert the infidels. So very good, very good. And of course, <laughs> I should have done this first. Go see my dear wife. Ah, oh, that damn wall bug. Uh, let, let's go see Queen Isabel. How are you doing, my dear lady? So nice to see you. So nice indeed. So guys, I'm going to get reacquainted with my queen. I'm going to speak to a few of the lords. And then uh, I'm going to do a little research and decide which lords deserve some of these fiefs in the Holy Land. And uh, once I'm ready, I'm going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. There is no time for rest. We need to start handing out fiefs, getting our preparations ready so we can head out on our second crusade and start conquering the second piece of our plan. Possibly Nicosia down to Acre Munford Castle, so forth, so on. But here's what I figure. We've got Tarsus with two villages right here that need to be handed out. The king's going to keep Antioch, but we've got three villages, in fact not two as I first thought that we can hand out between Antioch and Tripoli then of course we've got the castle of Tripoli and then Safet which Marcus Aurelius currently holds which he's also gonna have Beirut and this village right here and oh you can see it's already being raided and you could see there's already some activity on the borders I don't think I'm gonna give this castle and or town and village to anyone just yet it's too far out Ah, I think it's just suicide at this point. We're going to use it as a distraction. Now, with the, the other lords that I have brought into my kingdoms just recently, um, among some others, I believe we have one, two, three, four, five, five deserving-ish lords that don't have fiefs. Uh, the, the first one is, uh, let's see, where is he? We, we just brought him in. Lord Conrad. So he's only got a renown of 500. Maybe I'll give him a village because his renown is not high enough. What about Lord Heinrich? Okay, so he is hostile towards us, but he's got a pretty high renown. I could give him a town. He doesn't like me very much. Now, Howhoth, Lord Howhoth, Let's see, he has no fiefs. He's just recently joined us. Oh, I, I think, I think I can give him a town. I think we got a good enough relationship to start off with. And he's got pretty good renown. Okay, uh, Lord Aelin. Let's see, he's grumbling. Ah, you're going to get a village, good sir. You're definitely going to get just a village, especially with that renown of only 340. I don't think so. And Peo, Lord Peo, here you go. All right, so he's recently joined. I think you can get a town and or a castle. And so Heinrich, maybe I'll just give you a village because we have such a bad relationship at this point. But I've got so much to hand out, but that's okay. I don't have to hand out every single village, but I'd like to hand out every single town or castle. So let's see, who can I trust the most? Well, hmm. I think I need to give Tripoli to, hmm, maybe Peo. He's got a low renown. 
Yeah, I'll give him I'll give him Tripoli. I think that will work. And then Tarsus I can give to Yeah. Highhoff. If that's how he, indeed you pronounce his name. I'm probably butchering this name. You just have to you have to excuse me. Um, and then let's see. I'll give him Tarsus and how about one of these villages? How about the closest one to Tarsus? This one. We'll leave this open for someone else and we could kind of leave it unprotected. It's so far out. I'm going to take Antioch. So that leaves two villages here. Why don't I give this one to that priest who I believe is Conrad? Yeah, I like that. So now, Heinrich, we'll give him, we'll give him Hans. <laughs> Since you're, you're hostile towards me, how you like that? And then uh, we can give this one to Aelin. Yeah. Perfect. I think we've got them all figured out. Okay, good. So let's head into the castle and start doing some of this. A lot of things to figure out. You know, in this particular mod, once you hand it out, that's it. You, you can't switch it around, say, in a, a Clash of Kings mod, which I wish you could in this mod. It would be glorious. Oh, there's even more lords who want to join. Who, who are you, good sir? I think we've already... Have we already spoken? Ooh. Ooh. This changes everything. He's wealthy. He's got no fiefs. Um... Honored to accept your pledge. I'll tell you what. Hmm. That changes things. I think I'm going to give you Tripoli. Yep. I think I'm going to give you Tripoli. Yep. I'm not going to give it to Peo. He's just going to have to accept it. He's going to have to fight for it. There's so many lords who want to join. But believe me. Hopefully I can get some of these to uh, join me on the crusade. Let's see you. You seem like a, a man who needs to prove himself, so I'd be honored to accept your pledge. And if you join me in the, on the next crusade, good sir, I promise I will give you some lands. Hopefully on the next crusade, we, we can get lots of lords um, who are landless, who can join us. But first of all, let's talk to our queen. Um, I would like to speak about the state of affairs. I'd like to grant one of my vassals a fief. All right, so first of all, Let's go ahead and do this. Um, let's hand out Tripoli to that new lord who just joined us. Let's see. Lord Michael something. Not him. Ah, I believe it was you. Very good. And I, I know we're going to have trouble. Not everyone's going to like this. Okay, so we've, we've handed out Tripoli. Don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's hand out... Hmm, let's go ahead and hand out Tarsus. To Highhoff, Highhoff, there you are. And then also, let's go ahead and give him that village if we can find it. No, it is here. Where are you? Very good, very good. So he is taken care of. All right, so now we have a bunch of villages to hand out. And I'm just kind of uh, marking this stuff off once they're taken care of. Safet's taken care of. So um, let's go ahead and hand out. Oh. Where's Beirut? There's Beirut. And where's Marcus? There you are, Marcus. Very good. All right. And I, th I said I was going to hand out one more to you. Just make sure that you are. You're going to be wealthy, good sir. I want to make sure you're set up. I believe it's this one. And we're going to give that to Marcus as well. Okay, so now Marcus is set up. Uh, the last thing we need to do is hand out a few more villages. Um, so there is the village of Jabala, I believe. And I was going to head, hand that out to Lord Conrad. If I can find you quickly, Lord Conrad. Very good. He's going to be my priest in the Holy Lands. And then Heinrich who's already mad at me. It's okay. Where's Homs? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you Homs. 
Lord Heinrich. There we go. So, Heinrich's pretty pissed. Joseph Brecklin is not happy. Peter Ditton's okay. John Gresham's Joseph Brecklin. Wow. One of my original companions. That's that's very unfortunate. All right, guys. So I think we've handed out all, all the feasts. The next thing I need to do is do a little bit of research because I need to reward Lancia, Peter Denton, Lord Frederick, and Kabutqua um, for their loyal service. So let's go talk to the Queen once more. Um, hmm. So what's unassigned? Well, Antioch's unassigned. So... I think I'm going to keep Antioch for myself. Yep, I'm going to make myself Lord of Antioch. A little home when I'm in the Holy Lands, right? Alright, so what's open? Abafra's open, that's right. Lincoln's open, so we, we still have Lincoln to hand out. And that's, that's a nice juicy village. There are so many open fiefs to hand out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the most appropriate villages... Um, for these four lords, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give those lords these fiefs to kind of reward them. I want to make sure that I they're not too far away from what they already hold. That would make it very difficult for them to defend. So let's see if I I can figure out where those fiefs are. So first of all, Lincoln, which I believe is a nice prize indeed. Who's around Chester? John Gresham, no. So if I remember, Peter Denton is around Bristol. Okay. He's all over the place. Let's see, where's Bristol? So he's down here. Congratulations for helping me protect the Holy Lands and for getting your new, your new rich village, frankly. Okay, so it looks like we're doing, we're doing pretty good. All right, so guys, let's get out of here. And uh, I just want to take one quick look make sure nothing's going on it looks like we still got all of our thieves Oof, being raided being raided they're still doing still attacking the front but um, nothing's being sieged so guys we're, we're holding the holy lands and hopefully my lords will start heading out and start reinforcing their garrisons and now uh, there's Antioch the flag flies high so I'm heading back to York to refill my army. I, I could probably put another hmm, 50 men in there. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the garrison if we can. And I believe I've got some more men on horseback. Yeah, some Scandinavian knights, some Gaelic knights that we can take with us, some barons, some Latin senior knights. Yeah, so we've got plenty of men on horseback that we can take with us to kind of refill the ranks. So I'm going to go ahead and take, oh, some Gaelic yeomen, and that should get us pretty close. Let's see what else could we grab. No, I don't want to take any... I don't want to take any mercenaries. Ah, here we go. Some nobles. Very good, very good. Okay, so I think we're all set up. I'm going to make sure we've got plenty of food, so let's go to the marketplace before we, we head out. And now let's grab the rest of this food. And I think we're doing pretty good. I don't think we have to worry about it. Um, last time when we took our last crusade, we didn't run out of food. Not even close to it. So I think we're in really good shape. All right. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to wait just a little bit of time. Wait for those garrisons to build up just a little bit more. And look at this. You, I cannot believe it. Are you running from me? Oh, th the fact that you're even here, good sir, is unbelievable to me. I'm going to say surrender or die. And we're going to charge the enemy. There's only 14 of them. There, I'm going to hold everyone back. And um, I'm just going to bring my lion guard with me. Lion guard, let, let's take care of this personally. Will you follow me, man? Let's take care of this personally. I'm going to make sure my knights are set up close by. But the king feels like taking care of some of this business himself. And also, we should let the prince get a little bloodied. Where's the prince? Oh, 
those damn horse archers, though. I see. We can definitely take on those men at the top of the hill, though. Let's go ahead and uh, just have our knights charge in to take care of those... Those horse archers who are just running around, but I think we're going to take care of this right here. Come on, men. Come on, men. I think I got my hospitalers following me as well. I believe so. All right, let's charge in, men. Let's charge in. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I blocked it. And you died for it, good sir. Is that it? Is that it? Beautiful, beautiful. And look at the mass of men. The mass of knights heading this way. Ah, <sighs> absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful! Guys, so I want to thank you for joining me. I had an amazing time on this episode. Uh, guys, I, I believe we're going to keep these holy lands protected, um, but I have a lot more to do. I need to get ourselves ready to march back to the holy lands so we can go on our second crusade. So guys, I want to thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. It's by far the best and easiest way to help this channel grow. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on 1257 AD, The Crown Crusade!